The table below shows the mass in kilogram of the school bags of 80 learners. Okay, so we have a school where there are 80 learners and these are the different kilograms, um, the different masses of the, of the school bags. So funny story, when I was in grade eight, um, I'm, I'm generally, yeah, I'm shorter than, I was always shorter than most people. Or I was usually like the, at least the shortest or the second or third shortest in my class um, throughout my school career, okay? And that was usually with when there were like 35 kids in my class. So I'm fairly short, okay? So like Kevin Hart type vibes. So shout out to you, Kevin. Um, me and Kevin are actually friends. I played golf with him the other day. Okay, that was a joke, but that would be pretty cool. So listen, um, I had this funny story where I got to this new school in grade eight. Um, and I don't know what my parents were thinking. And I don't know what I was thinking, but my school bag was absolutely enormous like it was huge um i think someone gave it to my parents and i don't know why we decided that this would be a good <laughs> good idea to take it but if you had to see that bag on me i was this little grade eight and it actually gave me a bit of social anxiety or not so, i wouldn't call it social anxiety but i was anxious to um whenever we had school you know when the bell rings you have to you have to walk from one classroom to another that part gave me anxiety because I would have like these, I was grade eight, right? And I was tiny and there would be like these grade 12s behind me and they'd be like, bro, look at this guy's bag. It's so funny. And then they would like push on my bag and stuff. And I don't know why I just didn't have this thought of, dude, just tell your parents to get you a new bag. But I would rather like, I don't know what I was thinking, but like every day I'd get to school and I'd be like, oh, I got to change classes again. And it was so embarrassing for me. Like this bag was really, really big. Um, and it would like hang like below my like bum area. <laughs> the bum's a funny word or backside if you want to call it that. Um, but it would like hang like below that. And yeah, I remember it was super traumatic. <laughs> but I don't know why, thinking back now, I don't know why I just asked to get a new bag. But anyways, so here we have... Um, Okay, so we've got all these children who have these school bags, okay? So for example, um, there are uh, like 19 learners, for example, whose bag is anywhere between 11 and 13 kilograms. Now that's a heavy bag. Maybe that's what I was doing. I don't know, but like 19 kilograms? Like, dude, that's the size of bag that you would take to the airport. Like, <laughs> this person, maybe that was me. Maybe that was Kevin over there. Little Kevin in grade eight. Um, Probably like, I don't know how tall I was, but I think I weighed like, geez, I don't know. In grade eight, I probably weighed like 40. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. I know in grade seven, I weighed 35. Um, if that gives you any perspective. In grade seven, um, I remember they weighed us once and I was 35. So I don't know what I was in grade eight, but probably like 40. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But I was small. I was one of the shortest in my grade. But this, this question here says, um, write down the modal class. So the modal class is the class that has the most people. So if you look at the nine to 11 kilogram bags, there are 21 learners. So that is that is the modal class. So we'll say um, it's the nine to 11 category. So you just write it exactly. Um, oh, and I see they've got that over there. So as they have it there. This question says, complete the cumulative frequency in the answer book. Okay, so I went to the answer book and I just got the cumulative frequency uh, table over here. So cumulative frequency is easy. So you start with the first one, so that's six. Then what you do is you think about, okay, if there's six people here and 18 people over here, then how many people would you count all together up to this point? Well, that would be 24 right? Because I said six plus 18. And now we're going to say, okay, 24. And then there's another 21 people. So that's going to be 45. And then there's another 19 people um, over here. So that's going to be um, 64. Then there's 11 people. So that's 75. Then there's another four people. That's 79. And then there's another one person. And so that's 80. And that makes sense because in the beginning, in the first question, they did tell us there are 80 learners. Okay. This question says, draw a cumulative frequency or an ogive for the given data on the provided grid provided in the answer book. Okay. So we already had these values. Let's just go fill them in again. 624, 45, 64, 
75, 79, and 80. So remember, when you do an ogive, listen carefully, guys, um, it starts at this number, okay? So it starts at that number, and then you use these numbers for the rest, and then you use the cumulative frequencies over here. Because you see it says here cumulative frequency, and you see over here um, it says mass, but just remember to use this mass but you start it at the five. So you're not gonna start it at the zero, you start it at whatever that number is. Okay, so we put a little dot there. Now we go to seven, okay? So seven goes with six. So seven on the x-axis, and then six on the y-axis. So that's gonna be there. Okay, then we're gonna do nine and 24. So nine on the x-axis, and then 24 on the y-axis, that'll be there. And then 11 and 45, so that'll be like that. And then 13 and 64, okay, so let's quickly take that away now. Um, 13 and 64, so 13 on the x-axis. And then 64 on the y. 15 and then 75. And then 17 and 79 and then 19 and 80. Okay, so 19 and 80 over there. Okay, then we're gonna try to draw a line through, a nice curve through all of that. And there we have it. Okay, now we have another question down here at the bottom. It says, use the graph to determine the median mass for the starter. So you're not gonna use this. You're gonna use the graph to determine the median. Now, how does median normally work? Well, if I gave you like a whole bunch of values like this, then the median is the number that is in the middle, okay? So you gotta think about this really carefully. How would you find the median though? Like let's say, let's say there were a lot of, okay, well let, obviously you could see that the median is 11, right? Um, but that's just because we have a little bit of numbers to choose from. But what's important is that there's this formula that you can use to find the median, which is n plus one divided by two, right? So you've got to think about this carefully. Where does this n come from? What would I have used as that n, that n value? Well, you would have used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, so you would have said 7 plus 1 over 2. Okay. So where did that 7 come from? Well, 7 is the number of items that we have. So you've got to think about how many items do we have? Are we going to say 7 or 13? No, these are the masses of the bags. We have 80 items or 80 learners, so there are 80 school bags. So that is where you're going to do this. So you're going to say 80 plus 1 over 2, and that's going to give you 81 over 2, and that's going to give you 40,5. So you're going to go to a cumulative frequency value of um, 40,5. So you're not going to go on this axis. You're going to go on this axis. It's really important that you think about that. So you're going to go at about 40, okay, or just above 40, and you're going to read it off there, and then you're going to go down. So you're going to go down, 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 down. And so that's between 10 and it's between 11. So that's going to be 10,5 kilograms. 10,5 kilograms. Now, of course, in the test, you might get that a little bit off. So on the memo, they, are, uh, they will allow you to get the following answers. All right, soldiers, so I went to the battlefield to go see what I could find for you, but to be honest, the only answer they actually wanted was 10,5. So yeah, normally they give you a, a range of answers that you're allowed, but this one was just 10,5. And, and make sure you understand what I said over here about knowing what is your value of n, okay? n is the number of items. It's not these numbers here. It's the number of items. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's how you calculate n, okay? It's got nothing to do with what these numbers actually are. So like you don't say, oh, 8 or anything like that. Okay, uh, let's move on. So this question says that the international guideline for the, now this is this is something my parents should have read when I was in grade eight. The international guideline for the mass of a school bag is that it should not exceed ten percent of a learner's body mass. 
First question says, calculate the mean of the school bags. Now, how do you calculate the mean from a table? Well, remember, from like grade, we probably started learning this in grade 10, is to calculate the average, you've got to think about it like this. There are six learners over there, and some of them, they, they have a mass anywhere between five and seven. So what you do is you take the middle number, okay? So six kilograms, that's how heavy the bag is. But how many learners are there with a six kilogram bag? There are six of them. So you could imagine that we would have said six, 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 six. Then there would be um, 18 learners who have an eight kilogram bag. Now, obviously, I'm not going to go write that out 18 times. But if you had to then go calculate the average or the mean, you would have added all of these numbers together. So what is a fast way to do that? Well, you can say that there are six learners with a six kilogram bag. So you can just say six times six plus. Then there are 18 learners with an eight kilogram bag. And then there are 21 learners with a 10 kilogram bag and so on and so forth. You understand, right? Um, so 11 times 14 plus um, four bags that are 16 kilograms plus 18 bags times one. But now if you did have to go add all of that together, what would you have divided the answer with at the end? How does average work? Well, you would have divided by how many items there are. How many items are there again? Well, we said if you add up all of these, there are 80 learners in total, so you would divide that by 80. Okay, let's take out our calculator, and let's go spend the next 25 minutes typing all of that in. Okay, that was a joke, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff to type in. Okay, so at the top, you should get 854. So if you work this out and you round to two decimal places, you should get 10,68. This question says that the mean mass of this learners was found to be 80 kilograms. Okay, so there's 80 learners. So don't get confused with this 80 and the 80 learners. That's just a coincidence. So the, the, the average of these kids are about 80 kilograms. Um, so on average, are their school bags satisfying the international guideline? Well, what we need to do is work out what, out of the person's average weight, or mass, sorry, um, for those of you that do physics, you know mass and weight is different, right? So I just made a critical error there. Um, okay, but that's not important right now. Kevin, we're doing maths, bro. Okay, so most, most learners are 80 kilograms, but the average bag mass is 10,68. So if you had to work that out, and then to get a percentage, you obviously say times 100. So if we had to go work this out, Ah, so these learners, most of their bags are around 13,35%. So these poor learners, they're carrying around bags that are too heavy because the international guidelines says that a school bag should not be 10% or more than 10% of a learner's mass. But these bags are on average 13,35% of a learner's mass. And so um, on average, are the school bags satisfying? So we'll say no, the school bags are not satisfying. Um, I'll just say the guideline. Okay, so you'd obviously show the calculation and then you would give a conclusion over there.